Hey guys. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm like, oh, <laughs> um, things have just been going really, really good lately. And today is no exception. Today is an awesome day. Um, with all the dog drama and you guys might remember that I had gone to the mall with Logan and Dorian and we were looking for stuff and I couldn't find anything. And I was kind of like bummed out that, oh, you know, we went to the mall for this, after this drama stuff, trying to kind of cheer up and I like got like a unicorn and I don't even remember what else I got. Nothing, nothing major because I would remember it. Anyway, um, so that was kind of a bummer day and so Logan let me get this dress and this is dress that I saw on Horrific Finds um, probably, I don't know, it was a while ago. It was over a year ago, I'm pretty sure. And I was like, oh my god, I love that dress. I want it so bad and I looked everywhere could not find it couldn't find it anywhere and finally I found one site that had it one site and then later on I found it on eBay but it didn't matter because nobody had my size I was like oh my god I'm I'm in a 2XL to an XL nobody has it in an XL or a 2XL or bigger and I was like fuck maybe I'll just get a large and hope that I fit into a large and nobody had large. And I was like, damn, they only have small and medium. There's no way that's going to fit me. And then that's when I, I had to rethink everything because I actually was measuring myself wrong. As I mentioned in my other video, I was reading the tape measure upside down. So it said I should actually fit into medium. And I was like, no way. I don't fit into medium anything and I got it and it is a medium he let me buy it and it came in today as you can see oh, it says medium and oh my god I was like please let it fit it probably still won't fit and it did so I'm gonna show it in a second but first I'm gonna do the review of the site that I got it from which was berserk um, berserk the only fault I could see with them is that I didn't get an email telling me that they sent the stuff out because I had asked a question about this other outfit that was on sale that I really, really liked. And I was like, maybe can you combine it since my other item hasn't been shipped yet? And they're like, oh no, it was shipped out two days ago and they are supposed to give you email notification and I didn't. And then Logan and I are buying Christmas presents early so that we have, you know, all this time to have presents so that we're not stuck at the end of the year trying to scramble and get something and so he got me some stuff from there I have like a lot of nine ten dollar makeup nail polishes and stuff there so I'm pretty sure he got me like a bunch of cheapy nail polish which is fine because I have it there for a reason on my wish list and um, he made a new account but yet they sent the email to me so I very nearly saw what he got and I, I was like wait I didn't make another order I know you got me something from berserk you go in my email and you take it and uh, change the address to make sure that I don't get any updates on this because that's really fucked up. So that was quite upsetting as well. It could have ruined all of that. But um, this dress here is supposed to be Poison Industries, but the tag on it and the tag that it came with says Vixen. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, yeah, it's all evil.com is what it says. And I don't know why it doesn't say poison is poison and she's like a store or brand I thought it was a brand but the dress is the same as the dress in pictures and that's all I care about this tag is incredibly cute I really really like that and then of course it has medium on it so I'm gonna save that so the bag that the dress came in was this bag here which is quite cute I don't think I opened it right I tried to but it like that's what I tried to do and then it just like tore and um where does it go? It goes like that. So that's a really cute bag. It has all the little name brands on it and stuff. It does have poison industries. I see it right there. Those liars. Anyway. The dress fits. I love it. I'm not going to complain about it. Oops. Serious. And then I got this. Uh, they give you this little card from Berserk. And then it has that on it. And then you get a little sticker. This is Berserk. And then you get a little candy. 
and it's uh, it's just a cute little candy. Logan wanted it, and I was like, no, it's his heartbeat on it. And uh, yeah, shipping was pretty fast after I realized when it was sent off. It came it came to New Zealand quickly, but once anything hits New Zealand, it takes so long to act like New Zealand's like the size of two United States back to back. It takes fucking forever, and so that was really, really annoying, but that wasn't Berserk's fault. Much better experience than with um, Killstar or Doll's Kill. So I must say that. Um, prices prices are all right. They're not over the top. They're about average. You know, they're not really cheap, but they're not expensive either. They're, they're doable. This dress here was $69, I believe, which is really good. Um, until, and then it's a $20, mostly $20 flat fee shipping, so that made 80 When you convert it to New Zealand dollars, it was over $100 for us. But all in all, it's still worth it. So if you guys follow Horrific Finds, you will know this dress, and so I'm going to show it to you now. It's not my style at all. It's a kind of 50s rockabilly style, as you can probably tell from the neckline. But I still love it, and it kind of goes with my name as well, so I kind of like that too. And the color is not normally me either, but I don't care. I still love it. And I forgot I don't have shoes for clothes like this, so the only shoes I have are my uh, Iron Fists that Logan got me a couple of years ago. And they're black and white too, like the dress is black and white, so it fits. And um, the dress is made really well. The material is, is really good. It's not cheap material. It's nice and sturdy you can it's it's just really well made and the underskirt there's two layers of tulle and it's a soft bridal tool it's not the hard stiff stuff and that's also really good quality and it has like a little built-in kind of cincher around the waist that's quite nice too and the back is like that shared shared stuff that kind of stretches but even though this is a medium I've still got space to spare so I'm so glad that they didn't have an extra large because I would have bought that and I wouldn't have been able to wear it so this is the dress it's the the dark crow dark raven dress I'm gonna stand up so you can see it this is the corsetti waistband and it has pockets how awesome is that and yeah you could just tell that the quality of the dress is really good. And um, there's the underskirt close up. And you can see that it's it's nice and soft. It's not hard. And then there's the two layers to it, which is cool because when I saw the dress, I thought, oh, I'm going to have to buy an underskirt to kind of poof it out the way it is in, in the pictures. But I didn't have to. So... And then it's a side zip. And then there's the back of it. And yeah, there's a little poof of the skirt. Oh, I'm trying to move the camera. So the shoes match. Even though they're not like rockabilly or whatever. I don't follow styles, so I think that that'll do just fine. And the skirt's quite big and flouncy. Can't see. But it's nice and wide. And it's super comfy. Like you can see my donut pillow. I have to sit on a donut because of my tailbone. And it doesn't even help. Ugh. That's kind of embarrassing. I don't want to show that. It makes it look like I have hemorrhoids and I don't. Ugh. Ugh. So, um, whew, yeah, I did another video all out of snippet in. I was walking around over there like, oh my God, I'm so happy. So this dress is absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, I highly suggest checking out Berserk. If you've been after this dress, if you've seen it online, that's where you'll find it. I don't like directing people to get stuff that I have, but I'll, I'll share it with you anyway, because I don't want people asking me where I got it. Um, and yeah, I just, uh. I can't even tell you how over the moon I am right now. I was thinking the whole time that I was still like an XXL or an XL and then to be able to fit into a medium, it's just, it's just blown my mind all day. I've been like, 
I fit into a medium. How did that happen? Like, because my weight hasn't really budged for a while. I guess this is just the weight I'm going to stay at. The lowest I'll get to is 73, and I'm hovering between 73 and 74, 75 now. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to get down to 60 like I wanted or 65, but you know, I, I'm still happy and I can fit into stuff like this and it's just like, oh, so I really wanted to share and I hope you guys have a great day because I know I am and enjoy and I'll see you guys soon. But I stop this thing.